we're also giving you the chance Tell us a little about Ergo Pouch and how the company was started. Absolutely. Well, hello everybody. It's so great to be here tonight. Thank you for inviting me along. Um, so Ergo Pouch Australia was started by uh, Melbourne mum Alina Sack 12 years ago here in Melbourne. Um, and Alina had a terrible sleeper for her firstborn child, Xavier. He failed sleep school, one of the very few children to do so. and. Um, Alina noticed he was getting quite tangled during his sleep in his current sleeping bag. He was waking up kind of hot and sweaty and she thought, well, if I can design him something that he's more comfortable in during sleep, maybe he will sleep better um, than he does now. We can now. only hope. We can hope. <laughs> Um, so Alina has a background in um, textile design and production, so she got her sewing machine out and she designed the very first ergo pouch sleeping bag um, with ergonomic design principles to be uh, comfortable around the body um, and use natural fibres as, as well for breathability. And it, it wasn't the magic answer, but Xavier did start to slowly sleep better. So Alina um, made uh, sleeping bags for her friends and mother's group. They loved them. They told their friends about the sleeping bag. And before she knew it, um, she had orders and a business case on her hands. Uh, and that was 12 years ago. So fast forward today, um, and Ergo Pouch is uh, the best-selling baby uh, and toddler sleeping bag brand in Australia. And we're stocked in 35 countries globally. What a great success story. It absolutely was. So um, the philosophy of Ergo Pouch really goes back to why Alina started the business in the first place, and that was to support parents and children during those first five years of sleep. Um, I'm sure all parents watching this, we're both parents, and we know how difficult those first five years are. There are so many things that happen in terms of growth and developmental milestones that can really change away your baby sleeps in those first five years, and that's all totally normal. Um, but there's not a one-size-fits-all solution to the sleepwear that goes along with that. So we've really focused on designing products that meet the specific age and stage needs of the children along those first five years, products that are made from um, organic and natural fibres, um, that are um, supporting those parents across that sleep journey and really helping them to kind of navigate and understand their children's sleep in those first five years. Um, and in line with that mission, Ergo Pouch um, today to celebrate Sleep Week in 2021, which we're in the middle of right now, um, we've launched a, a series of free sleep guides covering the first five years of sleep um, to help parents who are struggling in that department. Um, so they can be downloaded for free on our website, ergopouch.com.au, um, if our viewers would, would like to do that. That's great. Can you tell us more about natural fibres and why they're important in sleepwear for babies and young children? Yeah, absolutely. So um, organic and natural fibres has been part of the DNA of the brand from day one. That first um, bag that Alina made, I think, was an alpaca fibre. Um, so we're not alpaca anymore, um, but all our fibres are uh, GOTS certified organic cotton and bamboo. Um, so there's three reasons that we really feel organic fibres are important for sleep. Um, so the first is, I guess, from a safety perspective. So organic fibres are a lot more breathable than their synthetic counterpart. Um, and this means that you're helping um, regulate your baby's temperature during sleep. So a newborn baby can't regulate their body temperature at birth, and a young baby doesn't have that uh, same ability as we as adults do to regulate temperature. So it's really important we don't overheat them during sleep. Overheating can be a, a contributor to SIDS. Um, so organic natural fibres are a lot more breathable and will help maintain an even body temperature during sleep. 
Um, secondly, all of our organic materials are certified non-toxic um, and we dye our prints with a water-based dye. So a baby's skin is very porous, especially at birth. So um, having organic fibres for sleeping means that um, no um, toxins, chemicals, metals are going to leach out of the material into your baby's skin. Um, and this is also really good for, for babies and young children who are prone to eczema flare-ups. It's not going to irritate their skin as much. And lastly, from a sustainability angle, which we're really big on at Ergo Pouch, um, the farming and the, the growth, the manufacturing of organic cotton is a lot more environmentally friendly than its regular cotton counterpart. Um, and you know, we, we say we want um, your children's children to be sleeping in an ergo pouch, and that means doing our part for the environment. Um, but our products are made with a premium fibre and techniques as well. And that means an ergo pouch is going to last for years and be used across more than one child. And so there's less consumption over time with an ergo pouch, which is important to us too. Um, so for those three reasons, I'd really encourage parents to check the fabrication labels when they're, they're buying sleepwear because there are a lot of um, synthetic uh, sleepwear brands on the market. Great. It's difficult to know if you do have the right room temperature um, for your baby and, um, and what they're wearing in particular, as you touched on about the um, warmth and coolness of the baby. What's your advice to parents in, in regards to the cooler months and how to check their temperature? Yeah, so, I mean, I remember this well with my children. I was forever worried about whether they were warm enough for sleep. Um, so at Ergo Pouch, um, all of our products are what we call TOG rated. So TOG is a term that, um, it's, it's, in this situation, it's, it's not used to describe babies, um, <laughs> like my fellow Kiwis or Queenslanders might think, but it stands for thermal overall grade. And that is a, a measure of insulation and warmth and bedding for um, baby and toddler sleepwear. So a TOG rating um, it means that you don't need to uh, use additional blankets when using a TOG rated product in a cot or a bassinet, so it does make it safer for sleep. Um, but different TOG ratings are suitable for different temperatures that your child is sleeping in. So for example, um, if you have a light um, TOG rating, such as a 0.2 or a 1 TOG, that means a lighter fabric, which is suitable for warmer weather. If you have a heavy TOG, a warmer TOG, such as a 2.5 or a 3.5 TOG, um, that's a warmer sleeping bag product and is more suitable for cooler weather. Um, so that's, that's the kind of general guide, I guess, to TOG ratings. Perfect. Where would a parent start when looking at Ergo Pouch's range on picking the right products for their child? Mm -hmm. So I think first of all, um, what we would encourage them is to start with understanding the temperature of the room that their child is sleeping in. Um, so when you're dressing your child for sleep in winter, it's really important that you understand you're not dressing them for the outdoor temperature, you're dressing them for the room temperature that they're sleeping in. So you could be, um, you know, somewhere that's zero degrees, five degrees overnight, but you might have your heating on to 20, 21 degrees. So you should be dressing your child to your room temperature. Um, so we make it really easy for parents um, by providing a free room thermometer with every uh, swaddle or sleeping bag or sleep suit, so every Ergo Pouch product. Um, and what this does is it tells you the temperature of the room that your child's sleeping in with this little strip here. So for example, we can see right here in our room, it's around 24 degrees. We then have a table underneath um, that tells you based on your room temperature what TOG products you should be sleeping your child in. So we can see here for 24 degrees, um, I could be choosing a uh, one TOG, uh, you know, sleeping bag sleep suit with a light layer underneath, or I could choose a 0.2 TOG um, with a slightly warmer layer underneath. So this is a Very this easy. is a godsend. Yeah. Um, parents tell us that this is just their saviour for every nap time uh, and every sleep time. You just simply look up your room temperature, follow the table, and that tells you what TOG you're going to need to keep your child warm that night. Um, and 
I would also say um, two bits of advice in, in relation to that. Again, you're measuring your room temperature, not your outside temperature. And you really have to adjust it for your child. Consider illness. Um, you know, if your child has a fever, then obviously they're going to be running a bit hotter. Um, or just perhaps how hot or cold your child runs. Um, but also, if you are in doubt, the best way to check if your child is warm enough for sleep is to put your hand on their skin, either on their chest or at the back of their neck, um, kind of at their nape. If your child feels warm and dry to touch on the skin, that's the perfect temperature, that's what we want. Um, regardless of whether their hands and feet are cold, if their chest or the back of their neck is warm and dry, that's great. Um, if it feels hot or sweaty or clammy, it means they're overheating, so you might want to remove a layer or, or drop down to a lighter tog. Uh, if they're feeling cool on their skin to touch, then they're probably a little bit cold, and you would think about adding a layer underneath their bag or increasing the tog rating of their bag. So once we've kind of figured out the tog following the room thermometer, we then move on to the product range. So our product range um, is designed to suit all ages from newborn to six years old. So we talk about that first five years, the different ages and stages of growth. So for a newborn coming home from the hospital, we would recommend our cocoon swaddle bag. So our cocoon swaddle bag um, is a zip-up swaddle. So a swaddle is typically designed to sleep your baby with the arms in to help control the startle reflex. So the startle reflex is when a, a newborn baby, um, it's also called the moro reflex, kind of jerks, and that can wake them up. So um, we can contain their arms in a swaddle, uh, and it can also mimic the close confines of a womb, so it can be quite, quite soothing for a newborn baby out of the womb to be swaddled. So our zip-up cocoon swaddle bag, simply uh, zip it up to use, no complicated wrapping. Um, you can have your arms crossed over the chest, arms down, um, there's a two-way zip for easy nappy changes overnight, which we, like we can that. all appreciate, um, and you can keep your baby swaddled, you can get them back to sleep faster, um, but we do know that not all babies sleep the same and not all babies like to have their arms swaddled, so the genius thing about our cocoon swaddle bag is that it has poppers in the shoulders where we can let the arms out. And if you have a newborn baby who doesn't like being swaddled, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. You can choose to sleep them arms out. And because they are in a TOG rated swaddle, they are safe for sleep uh, in their sleep environment, bassinet or cot, um, with no blankets because the TOG rating will keep them warm. So over winter, you would look at perhaps using a 2.5 TOG cocoon swaddle bag. Um, and that's suitable for room temperatures from 17 to around 23 degrees. Um, if you are in a warmer environment or have your heating on up high, um, you might look at a lighter TOG, like a 1 TOG or a 0.2 TOG. Um, so our cocoon swaddle bag is suitable all the way up to 12 months. Um, when a child starts to lose their startle reflex, it usually happens from eight weeks. Um, they can graduate to arms out sleeping and it is safest to do so. So when you notice your child is showing signs of wanting to roll over or perhaps they're not jerking as much in their sleep, it is time to get their arms out for safety. So with our cocoon swaddle bag, the genius thing is that you can simply open those poppers to let the arms out. Um, if you do need a little bit of help doing that, we have a product called the Butterfly Cardi, which makes that transition a bit smoother and it's worn over the top of the swaddle. You can continue to use the cocoon swaddle bag all the way up to 12 months old with their arms out. Um, but if you want to move into your first sleeping bag, the next product in the range we would be looking at is our jersey bag. So our jersey sleeping bag is for arms out sleepers, so suitable from around two, three months of age. Um, and it goes all the way up to a size six. So if your children love their sleeping bag, they can just keep going in it. So the jersey sleeping bag has a slim fit style through the chest similar to a swaddle. So that transition coming out of a swaddle into a sleeping bag is often a little bit more comforting in our jersey bag because they had that same slim fit across the chest. Um, but we still have the wide bell-shaped bottom as all ergo pouch bags do. So this means that their hips are going to be healthy. We're not strapping their hips in. Um, we're looking after their hips to ensure we don't get hip 
dysplasia caused by tight wrapping around the hips. Now, new for our range this season is a 3.5 tog jersey bag with sleeves. So the 3.5 tog is the warmest tog sleeping bag you can get in Australia. Um, it's suitable down to temperatures of 14 degrees. And the extra one tog sleeve just adds that little bit more warmth um, if you are in a colder climate. So that's a great option. And again, all 100% organic cotton on the outside and filled with organic cotton as well. If you are choosing to go with the sleeveless bag, but you are finding your baby might be waking because they do feel a little bit cold, then we also have the option to just grab one of our arm warmers, and that's worn like a little bolero over the top of your sleeping bag. So I think one of the questions we get most asked is, at this time of year, it's really warm when I put my child to bed around 7 p.m., but then the temperature drops later on, so how can I get around that? So this is a good solution here. So you might put them down um, with the sleeveless bag, and then before you go to bed later on in the night, you might just pop the arm um, warmers over the top for a bit of extra warmth overnight. So the, I mentioned the jersey bag goes all the way up to six years old in sizing, um, but an alternative to the jersey bag is our sheeting bag. So our sheeting sleeping bag is also suitable for arms out sleepers, so you can go straight into the sheeting bag after you finish your swaddling phase. Um, the only difference with our sheeting bag is it's a bit wider, so it's roomier. So if you do have a child who moves around a lot during sleep or likes a bit of room um, to move, this might be a better option than the jersey bag, which is a more slim fit style. Um, and it's also just a slightly different fabrication. So while our jersey bag is a stretchy organic cotton, um, like a knit, our sheeting bag is um, a woven organic cotton. So that means it kind of feels like the sheet you might use on your own, on your own bed. So it's like 400 thread count. It's a little bit luxe. It's quite nice. Beautiful. So the sheeting bag um, also goes all the way up to six years of age, and it also comes in various TOG ratings, depending on what room temperature you're sleeping your child in. And once we've kind of, you know, got to the walking stage, <laughs> um, we've hit toddlerhood, we have a child who's uh, potentially started walking or about to start walking. They have all this newfound freedom in the cot. They have legs um, and they suddenly don't want to put on their sleeping bag and they don't want to be restricted during sleep. Our sleep suit bag is the best option for your busy toddler. So our sleep suit bag converts from a uh, sleeping bag. So these um, zips down the bottom here can convert it from a sleeping bag into a sleep suit, which is the configuration we have here. Um, so your child can have their legs separated during sleep, so they do have a little bit more freedom in the cot. Um, you might find your toddler is attempting to just start climbing over the cot as well. So it is tempting to put your child in a sleeping bag to prevent that, um, but a determined toddler will get over, and in the event they do and they fall, it is better to have their legs separated to help them stabilise when they fall. Um, if they do manage to clamber over the side, that's a sign that it's time to get them out of the cot and get them into um, a big bed. Um, and when you do make that transition, you can continue to wear this product. You know, a, a young child who has climbed over the cot won't yet know how to figure out blankets. So keeping them in the sleep suit um, is a good option for that age in a big bed as well. Um, so the sleep suit bag also comes in multiple TOG ratings for different room temperatures too. And once uh, we've kind of come out of the, um, the sleep suit bag, we have our sleep onesie option. So our sleep onesie is more like a super padded pyjama. So we recommend this one for preschoolers who are transitioning out of their cot into a big bed. They're practicing using blankets. They probably kick them off in the night but don't know how to pull them back up, so they're waking up cold. So our sleep onesie is a good option. It has the kind of freedom of more of a pyjama-style feel but the warmth of a sleeping bag as well. Um, this does start at six months old in sizing. So if you have a baby who does hate sleeping bags, this is also a great alternative to keep them warm and safe during uh, sleep without blankets in their cot as well. Um, and... That one uh, goes up to a size five. 
And I mentioned we have a couple of little tools to help. So the arm warmers, so um, they can be popped over any sleeping bag or sleep suit for a bit of extra warmth at night. Um, and our butterfly cardi to help that transition out of the swaddle into the jersey bag um, by gradually releasing the arms um, out of these cute little pockets. <laughs> so they go from kind Very of a clever. swaddled to a butterfly to arms out sleeping. Uh, and that's our core range. Um, in addition to the pouches themselves, um, you'll see on our room thermometer and our what to wear guide that we suggest layering underneath the bag for additional warmth. So we do have a range of layers and pyjamas. Now they go across all age groups um, from newborn. And again, stretchy, beautiful, organic cotton. Um, so safe, they are usually the layer that's closest to your child's skin. So the organic cotton is non-toxic um, and lovely and soft on, on your child's skin. They also come in multiple TOG ratings and we are the only TOG rated kind of pyjama in Australia. So we do have lovely one TOG rated layer. So it's a bit thicker, a bit warmer um, and one of our best sellers over the winter period. And that's our range. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. And your in-depth knowledge of TOGS, I know myself, I was very confused. So I hope um, you've answered a lot of questions for our new mums. Yes, great. So don't forget to enter our competition for um, our great giveaway. We don't want anyone to miss out. We, we do have a couple of questions. Um, so Maria would like to know, can babies use the ergo pouch from a newborn? Absolutely, yes. So our cocoon swaddle bag, um, the one we have here and the one we have on Coco, <laughs> this starts in a newborn size. So straight from the womb, um, they can go into their cocoon swaddle. Um, we do suggest the newborn size for newborns, but um, you know the zero to three month size could also be an option to take along to the hospital with you in case you're not sure, sure which one. Um, the beauty of it is they will grow into their zero to three month. Um, so we, we, we encourage a newborn and a zero to three month size. Um, and again, if your newborn it doesn't like to be swaddled with their arms in, you can still use the cocoon swaddle bag on a newborn with the shoulders open and their arms out. And that's safe for them to sleep in with um, no additional blankets in the bassinet. We've had a couple of questions about the sizing of the suits and how do yes. you know if your little one has outgrown the suit that they're in? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so uh, this is a, actually a really good point and I'm glad this is raised because I'll start by addressing the opposite end of that question, which is, not being tempted to put your child in a big size. A lot of parents are tempted to size up to save money so that their child will be using the product for longer, but it is actually dangerous to have your child in a size that's too big um, because they might slip through the neck hole. Uh, and so we don't want that happening. So we do uh, encourage you to look at the size guides and to choose the right size according to your child's weight. So that is on our packaging. And you can find it on the Baby Bunting website or the Ergo Pouch website as well. Um, but how do you know your child is ready to upsize? Um, so with our cocoon swaddle bag, it would be, um, if it's starting to feel quite firm and tight across the chest. So you should easily um, be able to put two fingers underneath in between the bag and your child's chest. So if, if it's difficult to get those fingers in, it is too tight and you do need to go up a size. If you're finding that those two fingers still go in fine, but you're losing length, so your child is kicking at the very end of the bag, then it's also time to go up a size. So that would be the same for our jersey bags as well. Now with our sleep suit bags, what I found with my daughter when it was time to go up a size was when her feet could no longer be flexed in the end of the bag. That's so, a good point. Yeah. yeah. So it's usually when we get up, you, the, your child's feet get up to about the stitch hair and they can no longer um, fully flex their foot when it's inside the bag, that it's then time to go up a size in, this, in the sleep suits. Um, and with the sleep onesies, um, it would be in length. So these ones are measured in length. So when you notice that your child is um, perhaps getting uh, too big to fold over the foot cuffs, um, then it would be time to go up a size in that one. 
Jamie would like to know if the jersey bags have mittens built into them. They do, yes. <laughs> um, so we can see here, we do have this little fold over cuff to keep little mitten, little hands warm. So both, so all of our pouches that have a sleeve have those little mittens, and our layers do as well. So our layers you can Perfect. fold over, um, and so that just helps stopping scratching. Newborns often scratch their face with their little nails, um, so that can help prevent that. And just a couple of questions about what the bag, what material the bags and the suits are made of. Yeah, so they are all made from organic cotton. Um, so our cocoon swaddle bag and our jersey bag uh, are made from 95% um, organic cotton and 5% elastane. So the elastane gives a bit of stretch um, and it also just helps the wash and wear. So they do last a bit longer with that 5% elastane. Um, our one tog in those products has a little bit of bamboo in it as well. Um, and again, that also just helps with stretch and wear. Our sheeting bag, so um, our sheeting bag and our sleep suit bag, they're made from 100% organic cotton. So I mentioned that the sheeting fabric is kind of like the sheets you might use on your own bed. So they're woven, they're not stretch. Um, so they're 100% organic cotton. They're filled with 100% organic cotton. But we also put these little stretchy side panels on the side to help with ergonomics and movement. Um, and those stretchy side panels and the sleeves are 95% organic cotton and 5% elastane. And all the organic cotton is GOTS certified as well. And lastly, a question for you, Ange, is how do our viewers enter the competition? So you, um, you actually tell us what you like most about Ergo Pouch, um, and you pop that in the comment section, and the lucky winner gets our great prizes. And also just a reminder, we've got a promotion um, happening at the moment. We have um, buy any full price sleeping bag or sleep suit and get 40% um, off the second item happening right now. Thank you. Night all. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you for having me.